These are the five things that you need to know to become proficient in piping design. It doesn't matter which part of the world you're working from. It doesn't matter which type of project you're working in. It does not matter which type of companies you're working in. All it matters is whether you're fully aware about the five things that we are going to discuss in this video or not. Without wasting your time, let's begin. In this video, we are going to discuss about the five most important thing that every piping design engineer should know. Why is it so? Because these are the five things that is really going to drive everything in piping design. Number one, you should have a deep knowledge about the piping design deliverables. Why is it so? Because that is where you are going to produce your design. This is the medium how you convey your design to the client. So in order to finalize the deliverables, you should have a good knowledge about the deliverables. You should know the design requirements. Only then you will be able to finalize the design deliverables. So there are different types of projects available. So different type of projects requires a different types of deliverables. So you should know how to finalize the deliverables, how to take the decisions for certain design requirements, how to coordinate with others, how to get the design done. Everything should be uh, needed to know in order to finalize the piping design deliverables. So if someone who has a good knowledge in piping design deliverables will be considered as more proficient in piping design. So if you really wanted to become more proficient in piping design, you should develop a strong knowledge in piping design deliverables. What is required to finalize the plot plan? What is required to finalize the piping layout? What is required to finalize the MTO? So all these things are very important. So please try to improve your knowledge in the piping design deliverables. It's one of the most important requirement. Sorry to interrupt you. Let's take few seconds to understand the importance of Pemi Dhaka design courses. I will not say that Pemi Dhaka courses are the best in the world, but I can strongly say that Pemi Dhaka courses will help you to learn piping design skills. Unlike other courses where theories are predominantly focused, Pemi Dhaka focuses on the job related knowledge. The result is you'll be able to perform exceptionally well in all piping design interviews and also in your job. There are three courses available in Pemi Dhaka primarily focusing on three primary piping design skills. One is PNID, other one is pipe supports and the third is pipe routing. These three skills are considered to be one of the primary piping design skills for any piping design engineering profession. You will be able to find my contacts in the details of the course. You can contact me for any clarification regarding the courses. Currently, there is a 30% offer is available. So you can avail this offer in order to learn piping design. Now let's go back to our topic. Number two. You should know the design procedure. Why is it so important? Because there are different types of projects like EPC, PMC and demolition as building. There are different types of projects that are available, maintenance projects. Different types of projects requires a different approach. Different approach requires a different design procedure, different methodology. Once you are aware about the design procedures and its methodology which is applicable to different different projects, then it's easy for you to work in any project. So someone who doesn't know the design projects will have a hard time working in any type of project. So it is important to aware about the design projects. Only then you will be able to sustain in any type of project. Number three, international standards. International standards has a greater impact in your design. So if you possess a strong knowledge about the international standards and its impact in your design, then it's easy for you to survive. Moreover, then it's you will be considered as a more proficient in piping design. Someone who does not have a knowledge about the international standards will always commit a big mistake in the design. So that is one of the reasons why knowledge about the international standards are required for candidates. Number four, you should learn the basis of design review. How your design is reviewed. What are the criteria for reviewing the design? What are the parameters which are considered in order to review a particular routing? How you evaluate the piping layout? How you evaluate the plot plan? How you verify the isometrics? So you should know the basis of design review. Once you know the basis of design review, it's easy for you to review your design. If you are not aware about the parameters that is required to review the design actually, then you will commit a lot of mistakes. So that is why design review basis, it's important for every piping engineer to learn. Only then you will be confidently able to produce the design. Number five, delivering ability. Why is it so important? Because every project has got its own deadline and timeline. If you delay the project, you will not be able to deliver on time. So that will create a bad reputation. So you won't get the project. So it's important to deliver the project on time. For that, you have to take a right initiative on right time.
If you don't take a right initiative on the right time, you will not be able to complete the consecutive activities. So that is why it is important to aware about the timeline, how to manage your time and resources in order to deliver your project on time. So these are the five most important things that every piping design engineer should learn in order to become more proficient in piping design. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.